Okay, so in this video I'll show you how to set up Visual Studio Code on your main machine. Get the Python extension installed so you can benefit from IntelliSense and debugging tools. I'll show you how to set up the Py to reveal your home folder on both Windows and Mac. So the first thing you want to do is actually download Visual Studio Code. Um, I'll put the link to it in the description. Um, note that this is actually different from the fully blown Visual Studio. If you've used Sublime Text, this is probably Microsoft's take on Sublime Text. So once you've installed Visual Studio Code, simply open it up. And because we'll be programming primarily in Python from all our Py tutorials, you can easily install all the Python IntelliSense tools. Hit Command Shift P or Control Shift P on Windows. So open the command line and then type ext space install to be able to install extensions. Hit enter and begin to type Python and it will search the registry for Python extensions. The main one you want to get is the Python one. By here it's got an X for me because it's already installed but it will look like a little cloud with an arrow pointed down. Just simply click this and it will install in the background and prompt you to restart the Visual Studio Code app. Just hit restart and it will do it for you. So the beautiful thing with this is if I just create a new file here, call it 10, put it in my home directory, um, we get nice syntax highlighting and IntelliSense. So if I import the system and do sys dot, I've got all the suggestions, all the variables, all the functions, and little descriptions about them. So now that we've got Visual Studio Code set up on our main machine, um, I'll show you how to expose the home directory on the Pi itself for both Windows and Mac. So for the Mac, we need to SSH into our Pi. So open the terminal, SSH Pi at the address. And we need to install a package on the Pi itself called Netatalk. To do this I recommend updating your packages. Simply type sudo apt-get update and hit enter. This will just update all the packages installed in your system to make sure you're up to date with the latest. This may take a while so I'll skip forward. So now that our packages are all up to date we can get to installing Netatalk. So that is sudo apt-get install and then netatalk, N-E-T-A-T-A-L-K, hit enter. Again, this won't install on my machine because it's already installed, but it'll ask you to continue. Hit Y and then enter to continue, and it will install. The nice thing about this is we don't need to do anything else. So if you go to the finder, go to your network, And you'll see here Raspberry Pi. Connect as, and this will be the same login details as your SSH. So the username is Pi, password for me is Raspberry, and click Connect. Might take a while to load, but eventually you'll see all your files in your home directory. For example, this is my desktop. Drag this into Visual Studio Code. edit the script, save it, go back to our SSH connected terminal, change to the directory and then execute the script. And now you have Visual Studio Code running on your Mac and editing scripts that actually live on the Pi itself. Okay so just like the Mac example we need to install another program on the Pi that will expose its home directory on a Windows network. This program is called Samba, and we need to install it by the apt-get package manager again. So just open PuTTY, and I'm going to load my settings that I've saved. All that is is just the IP address of my Pi. Hit open, and log in as the Pi. So we're going to use the apt-get manager again. 
So it's sudo apt-get install. And there's actually two parts to this. That's samba and samba common bin. Just separate it by one space and hit enter. It won't install in my machine because it's already installed, but you'll get the usual do you want to continue? Just hit Y and then enter. So once you have Samba installed, we need to edit its config file. So I'll just make this full screen. To do so, you need to use the nano text editor because we're doing this via the terminal. Edit the file at etc samba and then smb.config. Well, c o n f. And there's two things you want to change straight off. That's this win support. If it's got a hashtag in front of it, remove this because that's a comment. And it might say no here, just change this to yes. And the second thing is the work group name. So again, if it's got a hashtag in front of it, just delete that. And if you want to find out the name of your work group, um, if you know you haven't changed it, it's going to be work group by default. If you want to find that, just open the start menu, type system, go to control panel, and you can see here your work group name. If you want to access that via the control panel, it will be in system and security, and then system. So once you're certain that you've set up the work group name correct and ticked yes for this, we now need to tell which directory we're going to share. To do that, scroll all the way to the bottom using the down arrow key. Okay, so once you're at the bottom, you're going to need to add your own section here. Call it pyhome and add square brackets on either side. There's two spaces in between here. I don't know if that's needed or not, but just add them for readability, really. First, want to comment, which is the location of your home directory on the Pi. Then you want to specify the path to the folder we want to share, like simply forward slash home forward slash Pi. We want it to be browsable, and we want it to be writable, so add yes to both of these. Only guest equals no, so you're going to need um, a username and password. I'll show you how to set this up in a minute. Create mask and directory mask. Just keep this as 0, 777. And hit public equals no. So people accessing your network from outside cannot see this directory. Hit control X. And then Y to save. And then enter. So now we need to set up a password for this newly exposed directory. To do so, simply type sudo smb p a double s w d, so smb password, space dash a space, and then the username, which is pi. And then type in raspberry, or password of your choice, twice. You won't say it for me because it's already be added, but here it will say new user pi added. So once you set this up, go to your network in File Explorer and hit refresh if it's not visible. And you can see here Raspberry Pi and it will prompt you for a username and password which would be whatever username you added here. So for me that's pi and the password you entered twice here. And then you'll see this directory, pi, and then, well, this is your home directory basically. So I've got my desktop, my documents, anything in my home directory. You can see all this. So now that we can connect to our pi via SSH, share the same keyboard and mouse as our main computer with the pi, and edit the scripts on your pi using Visual Studio Code. We now have a fully development setup to crack on with the tutorials I'm going to post in the near future with Pi development. So if you liked this video or you think it may have helped you out in some way, please feel free to like and subscribe for more Pi related videos.